Welcome to this week's Medical Minute. Last week we talked about uh, pressure checking anesthesia machines, and this week we're going to spend some time talking about how to perform maintenance on them and troubleshooting some common issues. Certainly there's maintenance that needs to be performed on an anesthesia machine every day. The first piece of that maintenance is the pressure check that we talked about last week. The other thing you want to make sure is that every day you're starting with a clean breathing circuit and clean rebreathing bags. While many places do reuse them between patients, which is okay as long as you don't have patients with infectious disease, at the end of the day they should be thoroughly cleaned, disinfected, and dried for the next day. So make sure that you're starting with a clean anesthesia machine before you even do a perform uh, anesthesia on your first patient. The other thing that you want to do is you just want to visually check your inhalation and exhalation valves and make sure that they are seated properly and closed. The inhalation and exhalation valves, when you open them up, they have just a little plastic disc is all that's in there. And this little plastic disc is made to include the flow on either the ex inhalation circuit or the exhalation circuit. But at times, these can get caught out and caught out by either condensation or pieces of barrel lime that work themselves up into the system. So you want to make sure that these are functioning properly or else your anesthesia machine is not going to function properly and your patient can actually end up rebreathing carbon dioxide. You want to make sure that those are both, op both um, open and working. You can see that this one has a lot of condensation in it, and sometimes that condensation will cause the valve to stick. So you want to make sure that it's dry, clean and dry uh, before you begin um, working on an individual patient because patients with a lot of respiratory re um, moisture will tend to uh, cause condensation in the exhalation valve. The final thing you want to do is you want to check your barrel line. Generally, your barrel line is going to need to be changed every 8 to 10 hours of use. Uh, on this particular machine, they have a piece of tape where they tell you the last time that they changed it, um, along with the date and the initials, so we know how long it's been. Uh, depending upon the frequency of anesthesia in your hospital, you can decide to actually keep track of the number of hours, or based upon your average, you can say we need to change it every two days or every three days or, or what, whatever the case may be for your individual hospital. But generally about once a week, an average practice is going to um, have to change their barrel line. In a busy hospital like we're at VCA South Shore Weymouth today, they may be changing barrel line as frequently as every day or every other day for some of the machines used within their anesthesia departments. The other important piece of anesthesia machine maintenance is the vaporizer. The vaporizer needs to be sent out uh, for maintenance once a year to be recalibrated. Or if the machine is ever tipped over past 45 degrees, it'll need to be recalibrated. One of the most common sources of anesthesia-related um, mistakes has to do with uh, machines that are outside of normal calibration. So it's really important that once a year your machine is getting, your vaporizers are getting calibrated. And that's all there is to it. As long as the machine's pressure testing properly and you're performing the simple daily and weekly and then yearly maintenance, your anesthesia machine should um, function properly and last a very long time.